Okay, so the trebuchet is a bit more complicated than the other ones because it has a much larger framework. Uh, so what we want to start with is, once again, the actual wheels. Uh, so you have t the two in the front uh, with a three block gap between them. Uh, then spruce connecting them and a spruce on top of each of the wood. Then two coming forward like so one coming behind it then one two three and one two three like so we then then go one in and bring it back by four then bring it in again by one same on the other side then two coming to the back again and place tires on the left or well, tires on those slabs. Say tires more like wheels. And then two coming to the back again and one slab on top of each log. With the trap doors on each log face. Then connect the logs using the spruce again. So we have this bottom frame coming into work. Then two coming off the middle pill uh, the middle block um, of the frame connecting the wheels then stair slab and another stair like so we then want to go one two three four five six seven eight up from these corners like so then a log facing that way and another one facing that way with one in the middle like so and ignore these trapdoors, they're not actually part of it they're just so I can put down the gates which will go in between these logs you can then place trapdoors on the sides like so to give a sort of main framework where the um, trebuchet firing mechanism goes we then want to place a log there and there on the front with fences in front of them and then go one a stair with an upside down one behind it and then one up block and another stair and an uh, upside down stair then another block and a stair on top of that stair block stair upside down right way around block upside down right way around like so so we've got a nice little framework coming on then do the same but without that um, wooden log at the bottom you have a wooden uh, plank obviously do this on both sides to keep it symmetrical then a bit which won't be symmetrical well, uh, symmetrical will be the block uh, the counterweight on the front so there we go, we've got the frame going on, like so. What we now want to do is go to the very back and place a stair. Then a slab and a slab on top of that. Then a plank, slab, slab, plank, slab, slab, plank slab um, two stairs and an upside down stair underneath same on the other side so up stair upside down stair another stair uh, then a um, plank a block plank plank I'm oh, sorry a slab plank two slabs plank two slabs and then finally a stair in the back like so so we've got the frame of the trebuchet coming along nicely what we now want to do is start making the um, sort of uh, shaft of the uh, trebuchet so we want to place a block upon this uh, log then slabs and a block and then we're just going to bring this down so it goes two slabs, a block, two slabs, 
a block, uh, two slabs, a block, two slabs. We'll just keep doing this um, until it's in line with this one. The last one should be a block. We're then going to go two fences down, one across, one down again, one across, one down, and then using our gates once once again. Go. Where are they? One. Two across. We then use a. St oh, a right way around stones brick stair. A slab. Another oh, another slab. Stone bricks there, and a slab on top of that to give the actual. Uh, and this gives us the sort of sack which uh, the ammo is loaded into. We're now we're going to do the actual counterweight. So we got one, two, three, uh, followed by. Where is it? There we go. My cobblestone. This way, cobblestone comes in. So you go one, two, three. And now we're just going to add bits to make it look more like a natural stone type thing. Like so. And there, we have the counterweight and the actual entire trebuchet.